Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon or Rising and it's the weekly reading for the week of July 8 to the 14th. Your cards this week, Pisces, energies leaving, completing or transitioning. You have the beautiful Six of Cups. Focus energies this week, you have the Six of Wands, clarified with the Four of Cups and you have the King of Swords coming in towards the end of the week. So Pisces, in your recent past, you have the Six of Cups. So it looks like, um, you know, recently there has been some kind of new offer of friendship come in for you. And I think at the time that really seemed like, um, you know, it was going to be a fruitful friendship and it was giving you what you needed in that moment. And, you know, you literally were willing to accept that with open arms. It could have been somebody from the past under the Six of Cups energy that can often indicate, you know, somebody that you may have known from childhood or earlier years and you may have even had a friendship with in the past and potentially they have come back and you've rekindled that. You know, there might even have been something that kind of happened, a little bit of water under the bridge, um, but you've decided to give it another go. Um, if it's not that situation, it can also be a sense of you reconnecting with your own inner child, you know, your own sense of innocence, um, you know, that type of energy as well. But I think for most of you, this is a situation where we have a friendship offer that's come in, you've taken up on that, um, it's been fruitful at the time, perhaps you got what you needed out of it. But this week, I feel like there is a sense of wanting to move on from that. Um, it could also have been a love relationship or an offer of love, um, by the way, guys, as well, not just a friendship. This week, I feel like um, potentially there is a sense of wanting to move on from that and actually questioning whether, you know, it, you're, you have your own interests being looked after in that situation by the other person. Either way, you've got double six energy here, so I feel like you did get a certain amount of growth out of this situation. It gave you those feelings of, you know, feeling harmonious at the time. Um, but here we have some interesting energy. So I'm going to start down here. We have the Four of Cups um, that came out with the Ten of Swords in reverse. So here we have, you know, a potential ending that, um, you know, you may have been sort of um, not wanting to kind of acknowledge that maybe it's the right time to end the situation. And I think this person has still, you know, sort of kept on coming in with, you know, these cups and friendships and invitations to go and do things together, to hang out if it's a lover, you know, um, to move things to the next level. But you are not quite sure, you know, you've sort of been sitting there contemplating whether the situation really is right for you, potentially wanting to, you know, leave it and call it a day on the situation, but not really knowing yet whether that's the right thing for you to do. So that Four of Cups can be that situation of apathy um, or contemplation or, you know, when someone's coming in with those offers or invitations, sort of, um, you know, being in a state of indecision and no action about them. You know, as we know, the Ten of Swords usually indicates a strong ending energy. Now, in reverse here, it could be that you're actually preventing that from coming to completion or, you know, not speaking up and not sharing your true feelings about the situation. You know, there could even have been um, a, you know, another betrayal in the situation or those feelings from if there, were, if there was water under the bridge from the situation um, from the past, potentially that's coming up and making you feel really um, making you wonder about the longevity and the future of the situation. And I really think that you're thinking of moving on, um, sort of moving on while you can be victorious about it before you sort of get hurt again. That's what I'm, that's what I'm feeling about that. So, you know, like leaving while it's at its best. So yeah, you're really thinking about the, what I'm, the phrase I'm trying to think of is, um, you know, calling it quits while you're still on top, basically. I actually can't think of the saying, and it's a very common one. I was having a mind blank. Yeah, so that's that's the energy that I'm feeling this week. Now, coming in towards the end of the week, here we go. Yeah, so Hanged Man and King of Swords. So we see you, you know, you have been sort of feeling suspended, not sure what to do. 
you know you're really you know waiting for that sort of aha moment that enlightenment that's going to you know give you the idea of how to actually navigate through the situation because I feel like it could be a little bit difficult you know the other person might think that everything's fine but you're the one that's sitting on the fence you're the one that's feeling suspended in this and not knowing what to do but we've got that king of swords energy coming in with that hanged man so this is your cutting through seeing things with clarity and being able to make a really clear intellectual um, and logical decision through the situation so king energy is that you know practical mature grounded dominant and you know he holds that sword of truth he can cut free anything that's no longer serving him and you know with that king of swords it can actually like cut that binding of the hanged man and set him free so i feel like by the end of the week you'll be coming out of that suspended energy uh yeah energy um you know you'll no longer be in that sort of apathetic contemplative um, energy you'll have the insight of what you need to do to be able to cut yourself free and move on from this situation and you know and the action you take may not be leaving the situation but it might be just having an honest conversation with that person so then you can actually move forward in a victorious direction that's what i see for you there and you know the reminder with the hanged man energy is just to surrender to that process you can't sort of cover it up or put it under the carpet that kind of thing you do actually need to take some action here and you're going to get um, the growth that you need out of that so it's an interesting one for you this week Pisces but that's your message and I wish you all the best with it just keep in mind it is a general reading it may not um, resonate with every Pisces out there but that's okay it will for those it's meant for and we'll see you for another reading next week